for every young man to picture himself as a priest. By this I mean to imagine what he would be doing if he were a priest. I've had young men tell me, if I were a priest, I would want to be in the army. Or, as a priest, my favorite thing would be to visit the sick. Or, I would love to work with the youth if I were a priest. Well, last month in this column, when we thought about the question, what does a priest do all day? We realized that while prayer is one answer to that question, and an important one, it's not the only answer. One of the greatest things about the priesthood is that every day is different. When I get up in the morning, especially during my days as pastor or parochial vicar, I don't always know what waits for me. But I can always be certain that one thing will be a part of my day. The Mass. It might be with 1,500 people, or it might just be me and the angels and saints. But no matter what, it is a prayer of thanksgiving to the Father, making present the sacrifice of the Son by the power of his word and the power of the Holy Spirit. Even if he doesn't realize it, it is his offering of the Mass that gives meaning and perspective to everything that a priest does all day. It's not surprising, then, that the Church has highlighted this daily activity in various writings. The document on the ministry and life of priests from Vatican II states, In the mystery of the Eucharistic sacrifice, in which priests fulfill their greatest task, the work of our redemption is being constantly carried on. And hence, the daily celebration of Mass is strongly urged since even if there cannot be present a number of the faithful, it is still an act of Christ and of the Church. And Blessed John Paul II wisely realized that if it is to be asked of a priest, then it should be also be asked of those preparing for the priesthood. In Pastoris Dabo Vobis, or I Will Give You Shepherds, he said, It is fitting that seminarians take part every day in the Eucharistic celebration, in such a way that afterward they will take up as a rule of their priestly life this daily celebration. If God is calling someone to be a priest for the Diocese of Dodge City, it might be to a Spanish-speaking community, to a Catholic school, to a hospital, to a community college, to a prison. There are many variables in our diocese. And I can't promise which ones will be a part of his life. But I can promise one thing. If God wants you to be a priest, he wants every day of your priesthood to include the celebration of Holy Eucharist.